Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be visiting Historic Ingalls Stadium in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Originally this was Andrews Field, which was the home of the Chattanooga Lookout since 1911. The Lookout's first two seasons were played at Chamberlain Field. I'm going to read the historical marker in front of the stadium to give you a brief overview of the history here. The top of the sign says Joe Engel, 1893 through 1969. Okay, and here's what the sign says. The Washington Senators professional baseball team named William Joseph Joe Engel president of the Chattanooga Lookouts as farm team in 1929. By February of 1930, he had a new $150,000 ballpark, Engel Stadium, which was said to be one of the finest in the Southern Leagues. Engel and his innovative promotional ideas quickly made him a fixture in Chattanooga. He hosted major league exhibition games, a faux elephant hunt, house raffles, and even a female pitched, Jackie Mitchell. Notable players such as Babe Ruth, Harmon Killebrew, and Lou Gehrig, Satchel Paige, and Ferguson Jenkins all played at Engel Stadium. During Engel's 35-year tenure, he set Southern League attendance records in 28 seasons and saved the team from being sold. Engel Stadium and Andrews Field have a long history with Negro League Baseball dating back to the Chattanooga Black Lookouts in 1920 and 1926-27 and the Chattanooga Choo Choo circa 1940. Even Willie Mays aspired to play for the Choo Choo's. He practiced with them while in high school. In April 1952, Jackie Robinson, Roy Campanella and the Brooklyn Dodgers played the Boston Braves in an exhibition game at Engel Stadium. This was the first time a crowd at Engel had experienced integrated baseball teams. The stands and entrances were segregated, but the fans seemed focused on simply seeing a good baseball game. By 1963, the Chattanooga Lookouts fielded a fully integrated team. That's what the historical sign says on both sides. Now, years later, stadium fans saw the emerging careers of Chipper Jones, Trevor Hoffman, and Adam Dunn. And besides baseball, Engel hosted football games, concerts, and speakers, including Billy Graham in the early 1950s. It was entered into the National Register of Historic Places in 2009. The stadium seats 12,000 people. The upper section still has the original wood stadium seats and you don't see those in ballparks anymore. In 2012, Engel Stadium was transformed into a movie set for the movie 42, The Life Story of Jackie Robinson. Most of the movie's baseball action was shot at Engel Stadium, which also doubled as Brooklyn's Ebbets Field. They used a giant green screen to turn it into Ebbets Field. We have the movie 42 on Blu-ray and it shows behind the scenes footage like the green screen that was set up. It's pretty cool. The Lookouts played here until 1999 and then they moved to AT&T Field where they still play. UTC, University of Tennessee Chattanooga acquired the property in 2008. I've read several articles regarding the future of the stadium. The most recent I read states that UTC is building a state-of-the-art track and field complex in the current parking lot, and they're going to be partnering with the Engel Foundation to restore the stadium. That article was written a few years ago. The parking lot has been transformed into soccer fields and such. There's also a volleyball court located not far from the stadium wall. I will link the articles I found regarding the stadium in the video description. I haven't found anything recent. Behind the stadium is a small walking track that has historical markers put up by UTC. So please pause the video to read the markers in full. Chattanooga had several Negro League baseball teams between 1920 and 1951. 
Segregated games were played at Ingalls Stadium. African American fans had to enter through a separate entrance and sat in the outfield bleachers. And Lincoln Park, only a few blocks from the stadium, also held Negro League games where only African Americans attended. Back in those days, everything was segregated. Lincoln Park was for the African Americans and Warner Park was for the white people. There are several parks around the Chattanooga area that have a history like that. We drove by Lincoln Park, here's the footage, but there did not appear to be an entrance to get to the ball field. Erlanger Medical Center seemed to have some of it for their parking. The Lincoln Park historical marker here states that there is not a marker at Lincoln Park that recognizes the historical significance of that park. All that remains is the ball field. Lincoln Park seems to also be the name of the community of homes that surrounds what is left of the park. The future of the park is unknown. Hopefully they will preserve the ball field since it was a historic fixture for Negro League Baseball. The next marker talks about Jackie Mitchell. She was born in Chattanooga and she made a national headlines in baseball history on April 2nd, 1931 in an exhibition game against the New York Yankees at Ingalls Stadium. Joe Ingle signed her as a pitcher for the Lookouts. The lookout starting pitcher was giving up hits, so with Babe Ruth due to come up and Lou Gehrig on deck, Jackie Mitchell was called to the mound. She struck out both the baseball legends in just six or seven pitches. Within days, the commissioner of Major League Baseball, Kennesaw Mountain Landis, voided Mitchell's contract with the lookouts, effectively barring women from professional play. Baseball was too strenuous for women's delicate bodies, stated Landis and Ruth. More like the men didn't like getting beat by a woman. I'm sure it hurt their egos. I've lived in Chattanooga for 13 years and never realized they had a female baseball player 90 years ago. Chattanooga has quite a bit of baseball history that I wasn't aware of. Hopefully, this beautiful old stadium will get a makeover and continue to make history for years to come. And hopefully, Lincoln Park will also get a historical marker and the ball field will be preserved. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Chattanooga baseball history tour. Stay tuned every Thursday as we continue recording history one road trip at a time.